It is often said that the power of quantum computers comes from quantum parallelism, which means that instead of processing each input one by one, quantum mechanics allows us to do operations on a superposition of all the possible inputs at the same time. So let me give you an example of a quantum algorithm that uses quantum parallelism to arrive at the solution in a much smaller number of steps compared to a classical computer. It's called the quantum search algorithm, and it's used every time I have a large database and I'm trying to recognize a certain entry within that database. Imagine I have a telephone number and I want to find out who it belongs to using an old telephone book. The names are in order, but the numbers are not. So in the classical world, the only option I have is to start checking all the entries in the book until I recognize my number and find the name associated with it. If there are one million names in the book, it will take me on average half a million attempts before I find the one I'm looking for. A quantum computer can do much better than this. It will find the name I'm looking for using a number of steps that is only the square root of the number of items in the list. So in this case, 1,000 steps instead of half a million. Let's see how it works. I will show a really simple example where I used three quantum bits to encode eight numbers, each one associated to a name in the telephone book. I want to find which name goes with the code 101. First of all, I create a quantum superposition of all the possible combinations of values for the three qubits. In quantum mechanics, we assign to every part of the superposition an amplitude that tells us how much of that particular code is included in the superposition. The square of the amplitude for each code is the probability that if I measure the qubits, I find them in that particular code. So in this case, all the amplitudes are 1 over square root of 8, so that the probability to measure each one of the 8 codes would be 1 eighth. Next thing we do is apply a global operation to all the qubits such that the amplitude of the code I'm looking for changes sign, whereas all the others are left untouched. Then I apply another operation that amplifies the difference between each amplitude and those of the equal superposition state. Now you see that the amplitude of the 101 code is greatly amplified because it's very far from the average, whereas the others are slightly reduced. If I repeat the sequence just one more time, the amplitude is almost completely concentrated on the 101 code, so that if I measure my register of qubits after these two steps, I will find the 101 code with about 95% probability. Classically, I would have needed four attempts to find that code with better than 50% probability. This simple example should give you a sense of what makes quantum algorithms special. They operate globally on a superposition of quantum codes, and they are designed in such a way that at every step, the initial quantum superposition converges towards the correct answer, which is no longer a superposition, so we can actually measure it. <laughs>